In a decisive escalation, Russian forces claimed the destruction of eight Ukrainian brigades in the Kursk region over the past 24 hours, according to the Russian Defense Ministry. The operation, involving the Russian battle group North, has dealt a significant blow to Ukraine's military capabilities as the conflict rages on with no signs of resolution. Russian troops reportedly overran Ukrainian units from the 22nd, 47th and 115th mechanized brigades, the 82nd and 95th Airborne Assault Brigades, the 36th Marine Brigade and the 103rd and 129th Territorial Defense Brigades. These defeats occurred near key settlements such as Kolmakov, Kruglinkoye, Lubimovka and Tolsty Lug, marking a substantial advancement in Russia's offensive. Aviation, artillery and missile troops continue to target Ukrainian reserves in the Sumy region, contributing to Ukraine's mounting losses. In the past 24 hours alone, Ukrainian forces lost over 310 personnel, alongside nine armoured vehicles, including an infantry fighting vehicle and an M113 armoured personnel carrier. Additional destroyed assets included six guns, six vehicles and two Enclave electronic warfare systems. Since the beginning of hostilities in the Kursk direction, the Ukrainian armed forces have reportedly suffered catastrophic losses. More than 25,000 Ukrainian servicemen, 167 tanks, 83 infantry fighting vehicles and 103 armoured personnel carriers have been destroyed. In total, nearly 1,000 Ukrainian combat vehicles and 210 artillery pieces have been neutralised, further crippling Kyiv's operational capabilities. Russia's permanent representative to the UN, Vasily Nebenzia, underscored the geopolitical implications of Kyiv's campaign in the Kursk region. In an interview with TASS, Nebenzia argued that Ukraine's offensive had alienated the prospect of peace and exposed the aggressive nature of the Ukrainian government. By invading the territory of Russia, recognized by the global community, Ukraine has revealed its terrorist and aggressive intentions to the world. Many nations are now seeing this reality, and the Kursk gamble has only deepened the crisis. The Ukrainian attack on Russia's Kursk region began on August 6th, with heavy fighting prompting evacuations from border areas. Despite international condemnation, Russia has signaled its intent to continue its military operations, ensuring the defeat of what it views as a direct threat to its sovereignty. As of now, the Ukrainian leadership appears to have little recourse, facing staggering losses on the battlefield. With the situation in the Kursk region deteriorating for Kyiv, the window for diplomatic engagement continues to narrow, leaving both sides locked in an increasingly bitter and protracted conflict.